<sighs> okay. Hello. So, the last few days have been a little crazy. I had like a million different ways I was gonna start this, or a million different ways that I've thought about starting this. There is no way to start this. Uh, there's really been a roller coaster of emotions the last whew, 72 hours, I, I don't know. So four days, five days, basically where we are right now in the edit. Our friend Derek from the tattoo shop had uh, passed away, which <laughs> playing with Omar and I got a phone call from Ern telling me, even when he said Derek has passed away, I, Derek, Derek who? You know, like, what are you talking about? So I was completely, so I was completely in shock and didn't even register to me for a good couple of hours. Uh, of course, I called Sager immediately. Me and Derek know each other through the tattoo shop. We worked together for a couple of years. We were friends, you know? We were not super close outside of work. But definitely love Derek, man. Like, absolutely. I'm crushed that seemingly he was in a place where he didn't realize how much joy he brought to the people around him. That is what I keep coming back to. For a while, I was really angry. A solid day, I just wanted to punch Derek in the face, you know? And, um, but also hug him. It's a... Uh, it's difficult to talk about. I don't really even want to be recording this right now. I just, uh, I leave tomorrow to go to Japan. And I'm not going to be here for the ceremony. So I just stayed up instead of editing a blog. Edited what footage and videos everyone from the shop sent me. So I did that today as well as tattooed and went to dinner and just came to LA and just did my thing. And uh, fucking LA, man. Some heavy shit. I don't know. But everyone on the internet has been very kind about the situation. Once they heard the news, everyone has reached out and been really nice. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate it a lot for the people at the shop. So obviously, I left the shop a while ago. People always ask if we're still friends. We're, we're brothers until the end. Um, so we're obviously friends. But I was not as close or had as much time in as the other people at the shop. My heart is broken for multiple reasons, but it's not about me whatsoever. I'm concerned with my friends. I'm concerned with how they handle and will handle uh, the reality that Derek is gone. You know, I'm all over the place and I'm not around so much. Like even just going through all these videos, so much has happened in the last three years and then life moves so fucking quick. And this year, so much shit has just gone in ways that I didn't expect. And some of them are fucking tragic and it's getting harder and harder. You know, even though they're not happening to me or to anybody else, it just, it gets harder to not let it affect you. It becomes difficult to not let Certain energies just like take over when your mind has to swim through the memories and the pain that comes with that when people are gone. <sighs> There's just certain things that are hard to accept and I don't want to be angry. And I get so angry because that just, you know, there's so many cliches and mental health. And, um, and there's just certain shit I guess I just don't understand. And I think at the end of my thought process with it, trying to change from being angry at people, I'm angry that someone or people especially someone that i know who i like doesn't see their own value I find that incredibly heartbreaking i think that especially derek but all people intersect with other people and bring immense amount of joy to their lives without ever knowing it i think that if people knew how we celebrate their lives i think that the they would feel differently and it is a shame that people don't get their flowers when they're alive but at the same time you are the flower when you're alive and we're enjoying you you know like we're enjoying each other we're watching each other bloom and blossom it's hard to pause the game and cut the script have a side conversation when the movie's playing i just wish that other people and again especially Derek, knew the impact that they have on everyone um, I in no way have like all of my thoughts together on this, not even close, and I feel really guilty for multiple reasons, but one, because I feel like I'm having to rush through, uh, not processing it, because I have plenty of time to process it. I'm forced to announce something, you know, it's all going on, it's happening, and I felt like I was having to rush through my emotions at least to get to the point where I have to talk about it, and it's now four o'clock in the morning and my flight leaves six hours, seven hours. I've put it off as long as I can. Today is better than yesterday, and like I said before, 
I love Derek. We were definitely friends and we were definitely close at work, but the people at the shop and especially Matt, him and Sager have known each other forever. His family, like his real close, close family, I just, my heart is broken for them. And I think that the world lost an amazing dude, man. Like, um, yeah, but the, Jesus Christ, people. It's gonna be real hard not to tell these people to shut the fuck up. The world lost an amazing soul. <laughs> we lost an amazing friend. Uh, those of you who watched him on the vlog, many of you have reached out how he touched you and the waves of his humor and just silliness and goofiness. And you know, he always, I always enjoyed being around him and especially with the camera. I always loved turning the camera on Derek. Uh, I just, yeah, it breaks my fucking spirit to think that he didn't know that. And everybody's mourning right now, and we will come through it stronger and closer, and that's just what it is, I guess. I mean, I, sometimes I feel like I'm just accepting tragedy after tragedy, and heartache after heartache. You file it away and you rationalize it. Sometimes I feel that way, that we just rationalize all this fucking awful shit. But at the same time, life continues and life goes on. I don't know what else to say about it. I, I already feel like a fucking asshole for even talking about it. And I don't want to put, I don't want to feel like I'm pandering or, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to handle some of this shit with having a vlog and wanting to be as real as possible on it. Some of this shit gets a little sketchy. So that's why I've taken a couple days because this couldn't really happen before that. I'm going to try and get some sleep. 11 hour flight to Japan tomorrow. So I'm excited. Just it's been a long couple of days, man. What is it called? You're not gonna use it. Tie. Shred one for us, brother. All the animals have their own spiritual lessons and insights. <laughs> you smell good, partner. Milk truck loves puppy bread. Milk truck loves the puppy bread. I can't see the K, but I don't care. Just go for I just, just make a K. It. Just make a K in your mouth. I might do a lowercase. Just make a K in your mouth. I'm like nervous for you. You did a cursive. You went into uh, my it's, fucking it's Toshi tattoo. <laughs> Dude, God, that sucks. you went over my Toshi tattoo. Hey, you erase it. Erase it. Oh. <laughs> I could eat this whole bag. Mm -hmm.